<laughs> oh my wow. goodness. Yeah, wow is an understatement. Okay. I feel like I haven't done much with myself. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend finally here, and that means Wild Waves is opening for the season. The theme park opens up in South King County tomorrow. But will you need a sweater with that swimsuit? <laughs> <Good question. laughs> Oh man, I mean, just in time for the perfect weather, right? I, it's going to be uh, mm. at least sunny at times, but check out the temperatures. It's not going to be fun at all to get in any water. Tomorrow, 59 for a high, 57 for a high on Sunday, 63 for Monday. And then we'll start to see those numbers bounce back up. 70s at least by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Average high is 68. So we'll finally get back above that number. But here we go. Holiday weekend. It's looking like it's going to be a wet one, not only here, but also farther east across the nation. Now I wanted to point this out right here because we had a line of storms that brought severe weather to more of the eastern coast and still some more storms coming in behind that. So that's where we could be dealing with some possible delays when it comes to air travel there. You're seeing Newark Airport dealing with the delay. Miami earlier we had a delay there. Those pink sort of polygons that you're noticing. That's where we have current severe warnings out for some storms. Also noticing that across parts of the northern plains getting closer to Rapid City here on this side of the country. We're actually looking pretty nice, but Tell here, Memphis, Atlanta, fine. It looks like I would keep an eye out closer to Dulles and Reagan National Airport, International Airport might be dealing with some delays there too, and then closer to Rapid City. But Denver, Boise, SFO, LAX, all looking fine. Even notice a few areas of blue skies here at SeaTac Airport. Right now, we are dry as we look. Looks like traffic heading into the airport, not looking to be too bad. Uh, yesterday and throughout the night, we picked up a little more rain there out at the water at the rain gauge. So now we're officially up to 3.44 inches, which which puts us at the fourth wettest May here on record. Now I think we are going to do this right here. That 3.7 inches. We'll get a little more rain over the next few days. Should be able to get near, if not even eclipse that number back in 1977. I think the number one spot is going to be safe as that is uh, about an inch and a half away from where we currently are. Temperatures over the weekend, mid to upper 50s, Saturday, Sunday, then Monday warming up a little more as we do dry out. But tomorrow going to be the wettest day with those showers decreasing as we head into Sunday. Right now, cloudier skies, but a few breaks into clouds, 58 degrees with a southwest wind coming in at 14 miles per hour as we look live at the skyline of Seattle. 60 in Bremerton, 57 in Tacoma, mid 50s in Shelton, still holding on to more of the mid 50s in Fork. So it's definitely a lot more of them out there today in comparison to yesterday. And the rain, it's around, but I I think you're going to see most of the heavier rain here across more of the southern foothills of the Cascades, so around Prairie uh, Ridge and then getting closer to Enumclaw, Buckley, Bonnie Lake. Heavier rain moving through some of those parts as we speak. Also noticing a lighter shower pushing on by here closer to Olympia. Heavier rain a little farther south, Grand Mound. We're going to see that push on by and then up here across the Olympic Peninsula where we've been seeing a lot more of the steadier rain. And that's still yet to come here as we head into the evening. But the front's moving eastward and that colder air is coming in behind and that's going to lower the snow levels, which will drop all the way down to 4,500 feet here into the weekend. Winter weather advisory is out because of that starting up at 1 p.m. tomorrow, lasting through 5 p.m. on Sunday. Now, yeah, we could see some snowflakes as you get closer to uh, maybe a white pass, but I don't think we're going to have much, if anything, really accumulating on the highway services. But elsewhere, up into the mountains, possibly up to six inches. So here into the evening, yeah, I expect things to be more off and on in action, but then we'll get into tomorrow morning and we'll start to see more of that widespread rain come back through. And most of the rain tomorrow will be near and south of Everett. Temperatures tomorrow, upper 50s, mid 50s as we head into Sunday, then warming up in a nice long stretch of 70 starting up on next Tuesday through Thursday.